Hi Animal Crossing fans, Sassy Shawcake here and today I'm back doing another dream address visit. I'm super excited to be visiting Wisteria Island today. I've dressed the part because I've been told to wear warm weather clothes and there is a Disney World here. So let's get into it. Here is Wisteria's awesome custom map. Go check out Slow Town Wisp on Instagram. She created this. It's really cool. Now it's time to go and explore Wisteria. And this island is based off of um, Tampa, Florida. So I'm super excited about this. There's so much, so much work being put into this island. It's super cool. Hello. <laughs> Let's keep going through this tunnel. I absolutely love what's been created here. This dream address is really something special. So you should get on and check it out for yourself. Here's this beautiful little like historic neighborhood. Cute little beach here. Over here we've got Fort De Soto. This dream address has all of these famous Tampa landmarks and neighborhoods, which is just really cool. And it's really, really well done. Here we have Ron John Surf Shop which I love <laughs> and I'm going to run up this side first and check out the beaches back here. This is Coco Beach and further down I'm getting excited. I really like what's at the end of this beach part. Let's go up here and head down here. I love how those little duckies all placed along the beaches too. That's really cool. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> it's the Kennedy Space Station. Here we have the Mars rover or lunar rover and we've got Saturn V as well. All right, let's speed up and get back to where we were in that beautiful historic neighborhood. Okay, I'm going to take a little shortcut and head up here. I love how they've been created into this neighborhood. We're in Bayshore Boulevard right now. And I love how they all have their own custom door plates. They've all got a bit of personality, even though these are the tiny yards. They've got each a little bit of personality put into the houses. <laughs> and at the end of Bayshore Boulevard, oh, sneak peek, there is Disney World. It looks so fun, but it's not time to go there yet. I need to go and check out the, the last of the houses here and have her wander around. Okay, here we have another of the four houses and I like how you can just kind of scope out the beach from up here too. This is my favorite house with the leaf door plate and the bamboo music player. So there we have it. So that was the beautiful Bayshore Boulevard. Now let's move on into the town. There's so much atten attention to detail which is really cool. I love how they've got this little scooter thing where you can come and hire the scooters from here. And then we've got a, a series of stores as well along the back. We've got a tavern back here. The beautiful drinks placed around a sal hair salon, tattoo parlor, ice cream shop, and a camera store right here, which is really cool. Okay, now I'm going to head towards the top. Oh, hello there, who's this? Dottie, hi Dottie. I know, let's try really hard not to forget each other. Say my name over and over, Dottie, Dottie, Dottie. Okay, oh, I don't think I can forget you because you're not even going to let me leave. <laughs> I love this. I didn't even recognize the Able Sisters at first because it's just really well blended in here. We've got the clothing store and this awesome jewelry store. Oops, sorry, I'm not following on the <laughs> on the crosswalks. I'm just trying to stay to the pavements. Here's this really cool diner. I love the bicycle just sat up here. And now here we go. We are entering the Wisteria Walkway, which is beautiful. But not only that, it leads to Disney World. So let's get going down here. I love these flowers. Woohoo, we made it. One ticket, please. I love how they've even got the entry ticket booths here. So where should we go first? Let's go and check out the merch. 
Luckily, I brought my own today, but we have some on the mannequin. There are these really cool t-shirts back there. Um, it usually costs a small fortune to buy though, so I've come dressed myself. <laughs> you got a balloon cart, cotton candy. Here you can come have your photo taken. Now, I really love these light posts too. That's really cool. Here's a ladder so you can actually view the whole of the castle. So let's check it out. There's Cinderella's castle, guys. How cool is that? I love it. <laughs> now let's move on and check out the last few little rides and areas. I love how they put the popcorn here because there's like popcorn stands all over Disney World. <laughs> and here we go. The ride section. All right, now let's head back and check out some more of the town because there's still so much to explore. Oh, hello, Marshall. Welcome to the fabulous Wisteria. That's absolutely right. From what I've seen so far, it is absolutely f fabulous. <laughs> All right, here we were. Uh, so let's keep going. I love these cute little old um, historic buildings, little cafe, crosswalks. Here's some more scooters. They've stopped down at the beach. I think we're down now at Apollo Beach. Oh, hello. Here's Kara, the owner of this island. Welcome to Wisteria. You can do a spot of fishing, have a barbecue with the family, come and play some volleyball. And I love how they've lined it all with rocks too. Now let's head back into the town. And oh, here we go. Sorry, not using the crosswalk again. <laughs> Here's a movie theater. How good is this? And the best part about this movie theater is you can actually come and sit down and watch a movie back here. Oh, I think we're watching um, Transformers, maybe? Or possibly Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> Showing my age here. Okay, now let's head on back here. Oh, there's some trucks and cars here. Looks like there's petrol bowsers. Here's this awesome little bakery. I love all the food things on the tables. Here's a thrift store or an op shop. There's just bits and bobs here. And here's one of my favorite places, the pizzeria. And look at these giant pizzas. It's so cool. Oh, and of course the music store. We've got the vintage records here. Just jamming out for a bit. <laughs> And I'd love to eat one of these giant pizzas. They're so big. <laughs> so right now we're in Ebor City. Here is a, a pen full of puppies. I'm not sure if this is like a puppy dog park or if it is part of the pet store. I think it's part of the pet store. Here we go. We've got a Publix food and pharmacy. And right next door, we've got the pet store. Some dog treats, a little hamster. A guinea pig, a tetra fish, and the laundry mat, which is great. I've got a great idea. I can come and impulse buy a puppy dog while I do my laundry. <laughs> All right, let's head on over here. I am going to, I think, try and get through to the beach here. Oh, I'm not going to fit there. Follow down on the footpath. Nope, up here. Okay, <laughs> I made it. I believe we're on Indian Rocks Beach now and we're heading up here to one of my favorite parts and this is the Rusty Pelican sea Seafood Shack. I love how they've got the crates like the fresh catch, the fish and the crabs. You can come and have a bite to eat. It's just really cool. It's And it's beautiful sitting here on the rocks. Now let's head up here towards the back of the island. This is Holmes Beach. You can come and do a spot of fishing. And I can see here there's some fishing boats. Maybe this is where the Seafood Shack got their fresh catch from. <laughs> now let's head back towards the front. We visited Ebor City and now it's time to check out downtown Tampa. So let me through past this shopping trolley. <laughs> and I love how they've got the repair works here. Like we've got construction going on. Maybe they're repairing some of the historic buildings here. And I'm just going to duck in here and just show you like it's really well done. It's really well thought out. Like there's a barrel here. We've got a, a workbench. These like planks back here. A cement mixer. 
Like there's so much attention to detail on this island. That's why I love it so much. So here we've got the Nook's Cranny and it's serving as a service station or a petrol station. Here we go. We've got the cars and trucks and the petrol or the gas bowsers out here. Oh, I'm going to actually use a crosswalk. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, and this is another favorite thing. It's just this kind of attention to detail and these clever ideas that have been used. I love how this bookstore looks with these kind of glass windows that you can kind of window shop and take a look in. Now we're going to head down here and this is like a marina here. This is the port of Tampa. We've got all of the boats up here anchored up and I love this dock here. It's really cool. It just looks so cluttered but it's just every single bit of clutter and things that have been put down here have been well thought out. Like look at this mess. <laughs> well thought out mess. Now I love, I just want to check out these last few little stores because I love how they've used these display cases and then made these faux like doors. It's just, it's a really clever idea. And I love the an antique store. And here we've got a music store. And finally, I'm going to head down this tunnel. I have no idea where it's going to take me, so this should be interesting. And I don't know where I am. <laughs> where are we? So this looks like my junk room at home. So I'm guessing this is like story. Oh, I see where I am. I'm inside someone's house. So this is the basement. I guess this is like grandpa's basement. We've got all the decorations from all the different seasons, all the wreaths, Halloween things, Christmas things. This is, yeah, how cool. I haven't seen that before, coming up into a basement. That's super cool. Here, I love this house. I love this kitchen. It's just so homely. And isn't this hilarious, this casserole dish on top of the fridge that I think every single person knows someone who owns a casserole dish that looks like that. <laughs> this room just gets me right in the feels. It's, it's so nice. This is like a sewing crafting room and this is mum's room. You can imagine mum lovingly making... You know, the little dog, the candles, the macrame, all of these beautiful things, beautiful crafty things that mum's done. I can just picture here, sitting down by the fireplace, you know, maybe knit, knitting you a tea cozy, or, you know, painting a painting for you. Like, it's just, I love how they put all the things that you get gifted by mum in the mail. It's just really cool <laughs> and nice. It's sweet. It's nostalgic. Next up, we have a bathroom. And I love how it's all steamy in here. Like the shower's going, it's all steamed up. It just makes me laugh because I can just imagine like my husband being like, get out of the shower, you've been in there way too long. You must have been because the room's all steamy still. <laughs> okay, now we've got the library, which is really cool. It's so cozy and comfortable in here. I can just imagine sitting down in here and just whiling away the hours, reading and studying and, you know, just all cozied up. Maybe watching a spot of TV, just cuddled up on the couch in front of the fireplace. And eventually dozing off. <laughs> so let's check out the next room. I'm pretty excited to see what we're going to get next. Oh, we've got this beautiful bedroom. How cool is this? I love how it just seems like a normal bedroom, but it's still really well furnished. We've got a puppy dog, which is cute. Like there's some socks someone's just left on the floor. We've got this uh, clothing rack. Just makes it seem quite normal. And oh, back here, we've got our favorite villagers up on the wall. Whoops, walking into the wall. Now let's head out. I think that's every room now. So we entered this home via tunnel. So I wonder what we're going to get next when we exit out of here. Like where are we exiting to? Okay, here we are. So I believe we've exited out into the historic neighborhood of Seminole Heights. I love this little front yard. It's, it's cute. There's a puppy dog and just a regular bin. Oh, here's the neighbor who's always got their washing out on the line, having a barbecue. With their tools and bits and bobs and fishing rods and like garbage. 
cluttering up. And here's the neighbor who really, really cares about their house. They've got beautiful plants all over the place. Here is kind of like a bit of a square and we've got a nice park here. You can come and play a bit of soccer. Go! Or you can come and play on the play equipment. So we can exit down from here and we're going to go... Oh, oh cute ducky. We're going to go down here. And here through this beautiful tunnel of trees, of flowers, beautiful yellow flowers. Here we have Wisteria Prep, which is a, a nice little school down here. And I love how there's all like the glass walls, glass windows, and this little seating area. And here's what I really love. The pictures on the doors back here. You can see like the, the paper chains that the children have made in the classrooms and their, their pictures and their hard work, which is really cute. Now let's head down here and here's the hospital. We caught a little glimpse of this hospital earlier because this joins on to the town early run. So that's really cool. I love how it all kind of like joins up, loops around. You can kind of just, just keep going and find a new section and there's just so much, so much to look at. Here we've got a factory. It's really cool. Look how well done this is. I can see the gears turning back there. We've got all the things at the front here, like warehouse things, trucks, like the loading area. And I know we can sneak back there by going here to the left of the stairs. So we're going to enjoy a bit of the park before we head up to the rest of the factory. You can do a bit of sightseeing. Here we've got the Statue of Liberty. A cute little park area. This is the state park, I think. Now let's head up and check out the last little bit of the factory. So here I can see a production line. We've got some barrels, bags and papers and all sorts of things here. And it looks like we're producing cans and jars of food here. Now I can sneak back here. That's a cute little campsite. Sneak back here and up here is one of my absolute favorite parts of this whole island. It's so well done and it's absolutely beautiful. This is a memorial garden that Kara has built in honor of her mum, and I just think it is such a well thought out and beautiful part of the island. It's so peaceful and it would just be so nice just to come here and pay respects to your mum. I absolutely love this and I'm so sorry for your loss. I love to see when people include this kind of thing on their island because it can actually be like really healing to have like a little place where you can just come and visit without actually leaving the house. Like it's amazing. <laughs> I could just spend so much more time up here. <laughs> actually that can be said for the whole island. I've actually spent over an hour just discovering. So I really, really urge you to come and look at this for yourself in person because there's just so many bits and pieces. Here is this kind of Stonehenge and this beautiful rainbow field. I just want to run through all the flowers. I'm not going to because I don't want to destroy them. <laughs> just have a little loop around. And this is so funny. We've got Red's Doc back here. He's obviously got all of his contraband, his, his art pieces and his like, you know, birds and things and his money. Like he's just flexing back here. Like, look at all this stuff I've got. Come and buy it. <laughs> his little black market. Now we can head back through the wisteria and jump over these little stepping stones and we'll head into the campsite here which is really cute i love these little tents the kids tents how they've been used here and that's it that was the whole island i'm going to put the da in the description so come and check it out for yourself it's just amazing one of my favorite DA visits today. Oh, you caught me. <laughs> I'm here enjoying one of these gigantic pizzas. If you liked watching this episode, please like and subscribe to Boss Family Play so I can continue looking at more dream addresses and doing other builds. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next adventure. Goodbye.